Welcome to the TNT Show. I'm The Rev. And I'm Andrea Peterson. And this week we talk Supergirl and get the low end down with the Doctor of Bass. I'm all about that bass, that, that bass. Let the mischief begin. Once again, this episode is sponsored by Performance Guards, keeping athletes teeth in their heads and keeping us knee deep in green screen. The second season of Angie Tribeca starring Rashida Jones started up. I have nothing snarky to say about it. It's freaking hilarious. <laughs> you should watch it. You should. You should. The now. Super- you now. should watch it now. Well, maybe after like, this episode. Maybe. Finish watching this, then go then watch go. it. Yeah. The Supergirl television series is moving from CBS to the CW, joining its DC relatives Arrow, The Flash, and Legends of Tomorrow. Along with the announcement came the news that the series will be visited by Supergirl's cousin. That's right, boys and girls. The Man of Steel himself (laughs) will be making his first full appearance. We hate to say we told you so, but the TNT show totally called it. Remember this top 10 from a few weeks ago? Absolutely, it's your movie. We're just bringing in Wolverine and Superman to support the storyline. We, we told you so, so. We, we told, told you so. so. We, we told, told you so. so. Actually, we are really excited to see Superman's appearance. The show's producers have made it very clear that this is Supergirl's story, but have left some room for the possibility of Superman's appearance. Producer Andrew Kaisberg told Entertainment Weekly that it has always been a dream to have Superman visit the show. And as fans, we are super excited about this ourselves. On to the world of comics, and who better to talk about that than our good friends Greg and Taylor at Black Cat Comics. This is Greg of Black Cat Comics. And I'm Taylor, and today we want to talk about DC Rebirth, but with kind of a spin on it. Uh, we're going to talk about it as retailers. From a retailer's perspective, if Marvel and DC are both strong, the comics industry is in a great position. If one of them falls off like DC has been doing, things are on shaky ground. I've seen more interest in the New 52 stuff in the last week than I've seen since the New 52 stuff started. People are excited about DC for once again. I see people adding into their holds when like they've never read DC comics before. So show up and try some new titles that you might not have before. You don't need to have known all that history. Just jump in. You can do it now with the one-shots, the rebirth one-shots that I think are a great idea because they're gonna lead into the new series. What I'm hoping is they give kind of an encapsulation of that character and maybe the beginning of a new story. Um, I don't know what it's gonna be, we'll see Wednesday. I'm excited to see where it goes and I'm excited to watch the DC Universe grow again. This is Greg. And I'm Taylor. And uh, back to you. This week we had a chance to sit down with musician and cosplayer Denson Angulo, and this is what he had to say. Hey, my name is Denson Angulo, and uh, I'm a cosplayer. I've always really liked Halloween. I've always liked dressing up since I was a little kid. I've done a lot of different things, uh, comic book characters. I did the Grim Reaper, I was eight feet tall, and I just uh, completed a Boba Fett costume. I have some kids. I'm starting them off really early. My son was R2-D2 this last Halloween. I also build lightsabers. Yeah, I have a wall of lightsabers at, at home. It's a lot of fun to, to be an adult, but play like a kid. Aside from doing cosplaying, also play music. That's what I do for a living, actually. I'm a bass player. I actually went to BlizzCon, which is super fun. Uh, last year, we won the talent contest, which is awesome. And seeing all those cosplayers was inspiring to me because some of those people just spend thousands of hours working on their stuff. I think everybody should try it. You know, let, let go of the adulting is hard part and get into, you know, playing a little bit. Make a world a better place. Now, he's a little too humble to mention it, but Denson's actually a PhD in bass performance. He's kind of a big deal. Ladies, he's single. I mean, no, he's not. <laughs> Way not. <laughs> Way no. not single, actually. No. Okay. <laughs> That's our show. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe and check out some of our other videos here and here. Keep those comments coming and post as much as you'd like. Until next time, remember... Trip the Light Fantastic. And we'll see you on the TNT Show.